Welcome folks, it's uh, Professor Richard Holzak at Baruch College here to talk to you a little bit about uh, market microstructure example. So what I thought I'd do today is just do a real simple example of something we do very uh, frequently when we do market microstructure research. So um, I've got here an Excel spreadsheet, so this is all about a microstructure, microstructure example. Okay, so as you probably know, when uh, you're looking at a financial market, and we'll use a stock as an example today, uh, what you'll have is um, buyers that are putting up a bid price and sellers that are giving off an offer or an asking price uh, for some asset that they uh, want to buy in the case of bids or sell in the case of asks. Uh, and so what we can do here is um, let's just pick up a, a particular stock. Here's uh, uh, IBM. And uh, what we'll put together here is, um, whoops, the bid, not mid, bid and the ask. And I've got a connection here to Thomson Reuters icon. So what I'm going to do is um, use my rtget function. Um, my network name is IDN. I'm going to get my Reuters instrument code from cell B4 here. And uh, the field that I'm going to get here is uh, in C3. Okay, so again, rtget is in uh, Thomson Reuters icon Excel function, real time get price. IDN is the name of our network. Uh, cell B4 is a reference to my ticker symbol IBM. And cell C3 is a reference to uh, the bid. Here is the title here, and it's going to retrieve. And here's my bid price now for IBM. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to grab that same exact function, and instead of uh, C3, we're going to get D3 to grab the ask. Okay, and so here's the bid and the ask. Uh, let me just format that so it's got uh, some consistent, there we go, some decimal places, right? So uh, these numbers are going to change, but as you see them right now, uh, IBM is uh, bidding at 130, oh, sorry, 193.04 and ask at 193.09. Uh, there's a five cent spread there. Uh, and then if we look at uh, the trade price, TRD um, PRC1, um, this is going to grab, I should have pegged that over there at, uh, at, at uh, before there. Here we go. Uh, if we look at the trade price, uh, we can see the last trade. Okay, so one of the things that we do in microstructure is uh, given the current market, the bid and the ask that's going on, and when a trade happens, um, the question is, is that trade uh, going to be considered a buying trade or a selling trade? And we call this phenomenon what we call trade signing. Uh, and so the basic idea here, one way to sign a trade, is to say, if we look at where the trade happened, uh, in this case it happened at 193, and then we look at it in comparison to the asking price, which is also 193, what we'd like to say is that maybe somebody reached up to buy from that asking price. Okay, uh, So that would be considered a, a buy trade. If the trade price is at or close to the bid price, we might say that someone then is selling to the bid. In other words, they're reaching down and they're willing to sell for whatever that bid price is. Um, and so sort of a quick way to, to do a trade signing um, might be to say if the trade price is equal to the ask, it's a buy. If the trade price is equal to the bid, it's a sell. Um, the trouble with that is that sometimes we'll see trade prices that fall uh, in between, right? So right now this looks like a sell trade, 192.96 at 192.96. Um, sometimes we'll see that it falls in the middle. And uh, that can happen because, uh, well, here's an example, 192.98, 97, those are falling in the mid price. Um, trades could be happening in a dark pool, an alternative trading system, where the bid and ask aren't shown to the public. Um, so the trade is negotiated privately, and then the print comes to tape and we see it here with our trade price. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to introduce uh, a new price and I'm just going to uh, insert here and I'm going to calculate what I'm going to call the mid. Okay, And the mid is going to be the sum of the bid price plus the ask price and we're going to divide that by two. OK, 
Okay, and so now we've got a calculated mid price. That's the midpoint um, between the bid and the ask. And now what we'd like to say now is if the trade price is above the mid, then we're going to consider that to be a buying trade. If the trade price is below the mid, then we're going to call that a selling trade. So we can just do a quick um, if statement here. So if the trade price, which is in cell F4, uh, is greater than the mid price, which is in cell D4, then we're going to call this a uh, buy trade. Um, otherwise, if the trade price, which again is in F4, is less than the mid price, which is in D4, then we're going to call this a sell trade. Okay. Now, the only other option here now, if it's greater than the mid price, it's going to be a buy. If it's less than the mid price, it'll be a sell. The only other alternative here is if it's at the mid price, and that can happen um, fairly often. And so what we're going to do there is we're just going to call this a mid trade. Okay, I'm going to close up my parentheses here, and now we've got our system up and ready to go. And so we would call this our trade, whoops, trade, trade sign. Okay, and we'll, we should see that, again, based on the trade price and the quotes that are going by, Here's 193.06 is less than the mid price. Here's a 193.10 that's greater than the mid price, so that's a buy. Oh, there was a trade right at the mid. And so this is a nice way of setting up sort of a, a simple little example where we can see um, you know, whether we get buying pressure uh, or selling pressure on the market. Um, again, in a microstructure study, we would calculate this over time. We'd look at all of the trades. We'd merge together the stream of quotes and the stream of trades so that for every trade, we'd see what the bid, uh, ask, and mid price are at the time of the trade, and then we will um, you know, do this trade signing algorithm. So uh, that's just a quick example, again, using some, um, some Reuters functions here, the RTGET, uh, and setting up a nice little uh, microstructure example. Um, feel free to leave comments, questions, and um, hopefully we will see you again soon.